Hey, good people. It's Meredith. Uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I am hopping on here for a short or a brief, I should say, design session. So let me just make sure that this is shared out to my timeline and then on Facebook and then we are going to get into it. So um, I have shared a post on, let me see, when was it? It was like February 8th or something like that, I think. I shared a post a few days ago showing this cotton candy aesthetic. Let me go find it right quick and I'll bring it up on the screen. And it performed like way better than what I, I guess I was, I hadn't expected, you know, any type of performance, but it performed like really, really well. And people were sharing it and liked it. And so I decided that I would come on today and do um, like a design session and kind of riff off of that post and create some more images in that same style. Oops, so I found it, so here it is. So let me bring this over here. So hopefully you guys can see that. So it's a, um, it's a cotton candy aesthetic. So what I created this image, oops, I'm not sharing my screen yet, okay. So here we go. So I created this image in Stable Diffusion and I wanted to do um, another design session. Ooh, I'm just, I guess that's fine. I was gonna bring my mic down, but you guys can hear me. So I'm using my computer mic. So I think all is well. Can you guys hear me okay? Somebody give me a thumbs up. I think you can. Um, so, I, um, I'm going to do a design session and create some more images that are in a similar style. So this is a cotton candy aesthetic. So, um, welcome for, uh, people that have tuned in. Happy Sunday. I'm glad you're here. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, not going to be before you long. I know a Super Bowl Sunday, people are getting prepared to, to watch, um, the Usher concert. That's what I'm getting prepared to do. I'm watching the Usher concert later. I don't have a dog in the fight about who wins the game. But I'll be, I'll be tuned in to see Usher and to watch the commercials. So, but before we do that, <laughs> let's get into this design session. So I am Meredith Hurston. I am an AI consultant and trainer. Um, I offer classes um, showing people how to use Stable Diffusion, how to get it set up on your computer or not even set up on your computer, but how to access Stable Diffusion um, from your computer and be able to design and create AI generated art. It's one of my favorite tools. It, I think it has become my favorite, favorite um, design tool. Hey, Shanine, good afternoon. And hey, Miss Patty. Thank you. I'm glad that you can hear me. Um, so, Stable Diffusion has become my favorite AI generator. So super excited to kind of share with you a little bit of my process for how I create images. And this is like the inspiration for um, what we're gonna be doing. So this was the post, I shared this back on February 4th. And this was the post that a lot of people seem to like and share and stuff like that. So uh, let's get into it. Um, so I use Stable Diffusion in, um, I use RunPod to run Stable Diffusion. So RunPod is a cloud computing solution and it allows me to run Stable Diffusion on my computer, but from the cloud. Because Stable Diffusion is, um, it requires a lot of computing resources. I have an M1 MacBook, I can't run it on my local machine. It would take forever to generate images on my local machine, so I use the Stable or so I use the cloud computing setup to do it. And that's what I show other people how to do as well. But we're just gonna strictly do design session today. So I pulled this image into my stable diffusion. Um, this was an image that I created before, but it's that same, you know, aesthetic and the cotton candy aesthetic. And so I am going to um, use some of these same parameters and do a little bit of tweaking, but I'm gonna send this image to the text to image tab and um I'm trying to see how i want to change it so i'm gonna do let's see i'll remove this photo of ukj person from the prompt 
but I'm asking it to do a cotton candy aesthetic. And so I have <clears throat> concept character of a beautiful woman in pink cotton candy sweater. I think I'm gonna say sweatshirt, or I'm gonna say, I'm gonna change this to hoodie. I'm gonna do hoodie at first. Uh, Valentine's Day, a uh, long iridescent pink and blue hair. And I think I wanna change that to purple. Cause purple is my favorite color. Um, luscious lips. Hey, artfully melanated. Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl Sunday or happy Usher concert Sunday. <laughs> How you doing today? Uh, luscious lips, comic book style art, um, art by Charlie Bowater and, uh, uh, ooh, I'm messing up this name. Lawanik and Camilla Goldwasser, a uh, rough colored sketch, colorful, elaborate, wonderful background. So that's the prompt that I'm using. And I'm also using, um, a Laura file that I have created. So I think I'm gonna bump up my Laura file. I'm gonna bump up the strength of this Laura to one. And then, so for the negative prompt, I have um, this whole long string. Basically, I don't want an ugly image to form. I don't want her to be, you know, anorexic looking, all of that stuff. So let's see where we go with this. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create four images. I'm going to use the initial seed, but I'm not going to turn on extras right now. So I'm going to do uh, the initial image that I created was 512 by 768 pixels. So I'm going to leave all of that the same. I'm going to do 30 sampling steps. And these are all like the parameters that are going to um, kind of like control the results that I get. So I'm just gonna generate this first batch of images and see see where we are, see how we're looking. And so while that's um, generating, uh, <laughs> Taya said, uh, exactly, at Usher concert where they are playing football, exactly. And I don't know if you guys follow, um, what is her name? I, I, I think it's Lishandra, uh Shop, shop AIF. She is hilarious on Instagram. I think she's on Instagram and TikTok. She is so funny. She posted yesterday, um, a post about, um, it being the Usher concert and the men <laughs> just being there. <laughs> what does she call them? It was really funny. She, I don't think she's a comedian, but she's funny. I'll have to see. Can I drop the link to that Instagram under, under this post? So these are the first images that we got. So these don't look too bad. They look a bit different though than the parameters I, I originally used or, or the, or the images that I originally got. So let's see how we can tweak it a little bit. Let me go back to the PNG info tab. Because when you use the PNG info tab, it brings over, if you do send text to image, it'll bring over all the parameters that were used to create the image. But I'm trying to see if I want to change anything about Because I don't particularly this one is cute, but I think I want to turn up the strength of the Laura. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to change this to 1.3. Cause I want it to look a little bit more like me. So if I turn up the strength of the Laura, it should look a little bit more like me. And so the styles that I'm using are vector animation and digital art. And I think I want to add, in terms of the hair, I want to say in a high bun. All right. So let's see how the second batch looks. So this looks a little better. I like num image number one. 
but I feel like it kind of has like a skyline um, in the bottom of the image. What do you think? Does this kind of look like a skyline? I think so. But I, I'm starting to like this aesthetic. So that's cool. So I'm going to do the high bun one more time. Or I added the high bun. So I'm going to generate one more time to see what it's looking like. Hey, Keith, happy Sunday. It's been a productive and informative week. Good. Yeah, we uh, attended a, um, a summit together. And yeah, it was it was informative. Uh, my big sister, uh, Leticia Austin, hosted the um, Tech to Profit Summit for the non-techies. And it was great information. It was about, ooh, these aren't looking so swell. I might need to turn the lower down. Um, it was about this, this summit was about, um, cold email marketing strategies. And it was just, um, really a lot of great information that we need to be incorporating for those of us that are business owners, um, in terms of drumming up new business. Hey, handmade by Kel. Happy Sunday. How's it going? So I'm glad you guys are here on this, uh, Super Bowl Sunday. So I see, so I like number one, number one again. And number two is not bad, but I would have to do some editing, especially for number one's teeth. Um, and I actually like number four. This is cute, but I don't know if I, this looks a little um, too childlike for me in terms of what's on the sweater. So I think I'm going to tweak and have her wearing like a blouse or something like that and maybe try to pull the um, image out to be a little bit more wide angle. And I actually, I'm going to take the seed off of here and see i'm just going to reset the seed oops reset the seed to negative one and do some um kind of start over with an um with a blank seed and see what we get because it was taking inspiration from that original image in the pose and stuff and kind of keeping in that same vein but now that i've reset the seed let's see what we get And I don't know if y'all can hear that, but my neighbors are doing some construction next door. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. I'm sorry if you can. Hopefully it's not too loud. So these are okay. I'm not such a fan of the side angle. Even though I do love a good side eye, these are okay. It's not really giving what I wanted to give. So I'm going to spin again. And I am going to add um, looking into the camera. Smiling, looking into the camera. And I think I'm going to take, I'm going to say, wearing a, I'm going to say a couture blouse, if I could spell couture right. Okay. Hey, Tiffany. Try it in 1024 by 102 or um, 1024 by 1024. Okay, let me do that. So I'm going to change the pixel size and see how that impacts our generation. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to spin two more. And so I added... Um, a pose because I want her looking into the camera and then I changed her shirt so we'll see what we get so these look more photorealistic I would say
yeah these are definitely more photorealistic but number three um the face is really pretty um the hair i'm not feeling so much and i don't know why it has me in these little kid clothes so this model must have been trained or this um style must have been trained on like some little kid like uh clothes or characters or something like that because i see it pulling characters and stuff into the clothing which is interesting to me so i like this hair on number one but i gotta figure out so i'm gonna say african-american woman character and see how that changes it So this is starting to look more like digital art when I added the word character. And maybe because I said couture blouse, that's why it's pulling in like pattern. So I like, I really like number three. I don't care for these balloons, but I could remove the balloons. Um... Okay, so how do I want to change wearing a pink is really not my favorite color, but I'm going to say lavender because pink really is not my favorite color. <laughs> Instead of couture blouse, I want to see how it's going to change. So they just done painted my face all up in number three. What is going on there? I do like, I think, number four. So I like number four. I like number one as well. But it's still looking a little kid-like. Hmm. Number two is pretty. I don't know what happened with number three. Hmm, let's see what else I want to change. And let's go back to this original image. So this was concept art vector animation. I think I want to add that back to the prompt. Oops, okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy that and paste that here. And I think I want to look at some different samplers. So right now we're doing the um, DPM 3M SDE exponential. So I'm gonna add a couple of other samplers just to see if I like the look of those better. So down here under script, I'm engaging the XYZ plot and under X type, I'm going to change it to sampler and I want to do the current sampler, but I also want to do Euler A and I also want to do the DPM 2mm SDE cares. And so what this does when you turn on the samplers um, or when you turn on the XYZ plot is going to give us four images in those three different samplers all using like the same prompt. But you can compare how the sampler impacts like the final output because it might be another sampler that I like better. So I'm going to generate those now and let me see. And candy. I want to add, um, I'm going to add balloons to this negative prompt because I don't know why it's giving me balloons. I don't want balloons. Um, and what else don't I want? I don't want, um, childlike characters. Or maybe I'll just do childlike because if I say characters, I wonder if that's going to impact 
the overall look and feel of the image. Okay, so I have, um, I added balloons and childlike to the negative prompt. So let's spin this again and see what we get. So who are y'all rooting for today at the Usher concert? I'm just rooting for Usher. <laughs> So it's looking like these are going to be a little more, oh no, it's starting to bring in the, the digital art style. It's taking a minute though. Oh, so this one has a lollipop. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, so now we can compare the different styles. Um, Good call, Tiffany. I will add that. Hey, Michelle, you're just watching the game. You're just watching for entertainment. You sound like me. Are you are you watching for the Usher concert or are you going to watch the whole game? <laughs> and Tiffany said to add photo to the negative. So for the negative prompt. So I'm going to add that in our next spin. So in terms of comparing the three different samplers, I'm kind of not sure which one I like the best so far. I think I want to do um, what Tiffany said and add photo to the negative prompt and then judge again on these samplers. So okay. So all right. Oh, and that's why it's taking so long to generate because it's doing the three different samplers. I forgot about that. Okay, so um, thanks, Tiffany. So I'm trying to see, did we put an adding photo to the negative prompt if it's going to give it that more digital art feel? And I think, I think I'm gonna change where it says pink and purple here. I think I'm gonna change it back to blue because that did look pretty. So in my last spin, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go grab another picture and bring it into the PNG info to see if we can get a little bit different vibe, so. Let me go find one. Well, those are running. So here are the images from the last design session. So this one that I thought turned out nice. So maybe I'll try this one because the hair is different. So I'm going to try this one and capture the, the PNG info from that one next, I think. And thank you, Michelle. And Kelly said, I love watching football, so I'll be enjoying the game. My team isn't playing, but my guy's team is 49ers, so I guess I'll be rooting for them. Okay, that's what's up. Um, so let's look at the PNG info for this other one. Okay, before we do that, let's take a look at this next generation. So it's still kind of bringing in that photorealistic look, but I really like this image here. 
I don't particularly care for how it did for my beauty mark, how it turned it into a turquoise heart. But other than, I mean, and that can be removed. Other than that, I really love this image. I like the hair. The hair is super pretty. Um, you like the loose pony in the middle? This one, the Euler A, is this the one you like? And it's holding like a, um, she's holding like a, um, looks like a candle, I think. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll play around with this seed a little bit. And I like, um, which other one do I like? I like this one under this uh, 2M SDE Cares. I like this one. But I think out of all of these, this one on the bottom uh, left is my favorite. So let me, let's see, we gotta go and grab this image information to get the seed. And I think it's this one. So we can grab this seed. And actually, I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to send the information to the to the text to image function. So now we have this, oh, the one in the blue hair on the other page that you rendered previously. Let's see. Blue hair. I wonder if it's showing up blue. Or wait, this one? I gotta start doing these on Zoom so we can get some um, feedback. My challenge with Zoom, when I do Zoom, it doesn't um, it doesn't render like in the uh, high definition. It doesn't do 1080, it does like 720 quality. So I like using Ecamm Live because I can do um, higher quality video, if that makes sense. But um, there is like a delay with the um with the feedback let's see that you guys are sharing so i think this might be the one that you're talking about i'm not sure but let's grab this seed and see if we can spin up some additional images and what i'm going to do is engage this extras right here and turn on variation strength i think i'm gonna do it at 1.5 so we can get some versatility. And I'm gonna generate four more images and see what we get. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty. I don't know why they insist on me holding something though. <laughs> oh, so it turned off the um, XYZ plot. So I like this one. This one is cool. And I like number two as well. Let me turn on The, um, the script again so I can compare, compare the different styles. I'm going to do Euler A, SDE Keras 2M, and then the 3M SDE Exponential.
Yeah, come back and play with it. <laughs> it was the one that I made bigger. Oh, and I was supposed to be looking up um, info on, I got to wait till this is done generating, but I wanted to look up the info on this one with the hair down. Where did it go? What other, what other options do you have for the style? Um, I think we could do a whole bunch of other styles. I'll um, do the drop down in one second, Tiffany. Let me see. Um, I want to do, I think it was this one that I wanted to pull from the hair because I like this hairstyle. I was trying to keep with the cotton candy aesthetic today just to kind of show people how they can use it. Um, and I got, actually, I got the cotton candy aesthetic from Civitai. So on um, Civitai, make sure I got my filter on because I do not want YouTube kicking me off of here. So... Why is that man the first thing to show up? Don't nobody want to see him. Okay, so I like these. These look good, especially this one right here. I'm not so sure about the hand. Y'all remember when we used to take pictures like this? Everybody was doing like this. <laughs> One of my Facebook friends called it the thigh hand. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this pose got me in with like my thigh hand, but it's just not up to my um up to my face. That's funny. So let me pull this image in and see if we can get this hairstyle. Oh, so I had long iridescent pink and blue hair. So I am going to send this, these parameters to the text to image tab and see what we get along with this seed. I think that sent over the seed. Let me make sure. No, it didn't bring over the seed. Why not? One, nine, two. Okay. So I'm just going to paste that seed and I'm going to leave the variation seed as a negative one. And I'm going to see how. Wait, so it didn't bring this stuff over to the right tab because it didn't change my. I might have to put this stuff in. Copy. It's not sending it to the tab like it's supposed to. Normally it um it sends the parameters over. So I'm gonna change this to 1.3. And I think I see what I did wrong. So I have a couple of different ways that I use to create images in my own likeness. So I use, I have a lower file and I also have um, a fine tuned model. And I think I use the combination of the two to create the old images. I think I was using the, um, the model and the Laura in combination, but I'm not sure. That's what it's looking like based on this prompt. So now we need to add hair bow to the negative prompt because I'm not really feeling this bow.
But I like how it's pulling in the curly because my hair is natural. I have it braided right now, but my hair is natural. So I like that it's pulling in, you know, my natural style. I like these. Okay, so now we cooking with gas. We're getting that, that digital illustration that doesn't look photorealistic. We're getting more of what I was looking for. So between these three samplers though, I'm trying to see which one I like the best. I'm still not sure. I feel like this one in the middle, the DPM 2M SDE Cares, I feel like it's giving more definition to my skin, like the is doing like some contouring and highlighting. This, the skin under the oiler A, the um my skin looks kind of flat. It doesn't look like it has like dimension or shine or glow or anything like that. And with this, the one in the middle, there's more like of a glow and contour and dimension. And I feel like with this, um, these DPM. Uh, samplers are giving me more of that uh, definition with my skin so I think maybe we'll go move forward with those two samplers and just remove the oiler a so I'm gonna turn that off and still kind of compare these these two different samplers and how do I want to change so I added hair bow so that should remove that and I want to do I think I don't know if I want blue hair maybe i'll add purple pink blue and purple hair and um comic book art i'm trying to look to see what oh Beautiful cotton candy sweater. I'm going to say blouse and see how that changes it. And Tiffany asks, um, oops. What other options do you have for style? Um, let's take a look at this drop down when this is done. So they gave her a short sleeve shirt and I don't know if I like that. I think I want to say wrap sweater. Hey, T Bell. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? Okay, so I like these, but I want her to wear a wrap shirt, a long sleeve wrap shirt. This, um, v-neck t-shirt is cute so let me see i think i want to have um cream color long sleeve wrap shirt or sweater wrap sweater okay and let's look at the styles so there are so many styles <laughs> there are so many styles inside of inside of um automatic 1111 um good i'm glad you're doing well Tiffany, which ones do you think we should engage besides the vector animation and the digital art? I wonder if I do pop art, how that'll change it. 
You think it's pretty? Oh, thank you. So this is actually um, the cotton candy. And so while that is running, let's go back to Civitai. So I was trying to um, show you guys where I got this, this style from. So I found it on Civitai. There is one particular picture that I really liked and I grabbed the prompt from it and um, where is she? It may take a second to find it. Some of these are strange. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on with the hair? Here she is. Um, so this was the original image I found. And I was looking at the prompt for it. Because I really liked um, this aesthetic. Like, I mean, I know that this is a more like a... Um, photorealistic image okay add fantasy okay so I'll add that to the um to the prompt so it's got cotton candy character concept art of a beautiful woman a pink cotton candy sweater valentine's day long iridescent pink and blue hair so yeah this is where I got the prompt from Oh, and I do see that they're using a CFG scale of four and I'm using a CFG scale of um, seven. So I wonder if I should turn my CFG scale down a little bit. But let's add fantasy. And see how that changes it. And I'm gonna turn I've been using a CFG scale of seven. I'm gonna take it down to five and see how that impacts it. But before we do that, let's take a look at our last run. So these are starting to bring in a little more of that photorealistic image again. Some of them, like this number one isn't, but some of these others are really bringing in that photorealistic image look. Okay, so I'm gonna add photorealistic to the negative prompt in addition to photo. And then we added fantasy art as a style. So how many people, um, that are watching are using currently using stable diffusion and if so like how do you like it as it compares to the other ai generators like mid journey um dolly three and um i don't really <laughs> we talked about cf spark on the call with uh jamisha last night i don't think a lot of people are using cf spark anymore but i feel like dolly Dolly 3 is like the one of the big ones that a lot of people are using. Mid Journey. Um, I hear a little bit about Leonardo. I don't hear as many people using Leonardo, but what other in oh, and of course Bing. Um, a lot of people are using Bing. So um, yeah, what what AI generators are you guys liking? Try to DPM without the SDE. Okay. We will do that in the next go round. So fantasy. Looks like it added a little bit of a um, some darker dimension to the background. And it turned my hair white. I wonder why I turned my hair white. I like it though. I like the look. I like this. Um, I like this one here. Okay. I hear you, T-Bell. Life be life in some time, don't it? Okay, so Tiffany said to try to DPM without the SDE. So let's go down here to our sampler and let's see what we can cook up. 
So we can do DPM to M and we can do DPM to M cares. So let's undo the SDE and this SDE. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> CM Spark should be ashamed of themselves. A mess. A mess. Okay. So now we're going to uh, compare samplers from DPM plus plus 2M and DPM plus plus 2M Keras and see what we get. And we'll still engage the fantasy art. So. Do I have signature in my negative prompt? Cause I see it put some writing. It is a lot of things in this negative prompt. I don't see signature though. So, oh, it does. It's right here. Signature watermark. Let me add writing. It's probably like, that's too much for me to read. All right. So now let's see what we got. I am really curious to see this hairstyle for number one. It looked like he gave me some type of mohawk. <laughs> oh, wait now. I quite like the aesthetic of number one. Let's see what we working with. I mean, the hair is kind of like sideshow Bob looking, but. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we working with. So I like this one. I don't know why they got my shirt tied around my neck like that, but I like these. I would do some edits. But generally speaking. I like the look. Thanks for the uh thanks for the um suggestion for the fantasy art, Tiffany. I like that look. Um so clip skip. Clip skip is um I need to do some reading about clip skip. So it has something to do with the sampling steps. So I think it skips the first two. Um generations when it starts to generate an image it skips step one and two and it just starts with three if i'm not mistaken but i read somewhere that it's good to have the clip skip set at two um i want to change the hair a little bit because i want it to look more even and not asymmetrical so maybe i should add asymmetrical hair i feel like this Negative prompt is getting crazy long, but I'm going to add asymmetrical hair. And I'm going to add symmetrical hair. Long ear, there's pink. Um... I'm adding symmetrical style, long symmetrical style to see how that impacts the prompt. And I don't really like this collar around the neck, but I can change that in end painting. So let's go back to Civitai real quick. Um, I 
this is pretty. And I like this one too. I think this is the same prompt. Let's see if we can get a definition of clip skip. Clip skip is a feature that lets you skip some layers in the clip embedding process. So it may not be the same as what I was thinking. I thought it skipped the first two um, generations. I got to do some reading on that, Tiffany. I don't know. It's not where it skips the first two generations of your steps. I'm not sure. So let's see. Did that give us a little bit more symmetrical hair? A little bit. This looks more symmetrical, but I'm looking off to the side, which I don't really like that. But I do like the, um, I do like the collar line better. But this looks more like a robe instead of like a wrap sweater. I don't know why they got me dressed in a robe. Maybe I shouldn't um, put the style of clothes I want. Let me see. I am going to remove any reference to clothes and see what we get. Or should I say, I'm going to say wearing urban wear <laughs> for kicks and giggles and see how they dress me. Let's go back to this clip skip. So clip skip, it has something to do with the embedding layer. So it speeds up image generation, introduce some variation and creativity to your images. Um, customize your image generation, finding the balance between speed and quality. Interesting. So this is their interpretation of urban wear. Okay. I got a little chain on down here. <laughs> I like it. I actually like um, image number four in both of these. So in terms of the DPM without the SDE, Tiffany, do you know what the, um, the SDE does? Cause I'm not really sure. So, but I do like, I do like these results and I feel like they look pretty similar. I'm trying to decide how different they look or if I prefer one over the other. I feel like the result is kind of very similar. Looking at image number four, I feel like the DPM plus plus two M maybe is a little, the definition is a little higher because I feel like you can see if you look at when you compare these two, I feel like I see more definition in her clothes and in this background. Um, this, the 2P or 2M Karis, looks like it has a little more, it's more muted, if that makes sense. It's lower definition. Cause like looking at the hair, like the highlights of the hair are a little bit um, more vibrant. 
compared to the 2M Karis. So I think I like the DPM plus plus 2M. Okay, let's see how else. Maybe I do like a black dress. little black dress um and I want to do a wide angle shot because I want to get more of her dress And I wonder if I need to change the seed. I'm going to run it with the same seed and then I'm going to do it again and reset the seed. Okay. And I don't know if it's the seed number that's giving like the clothes, like a sheer look. And I'm thinking about the images that were used to train my, um, my lower file. Like the, the images that you use to train your file, like the clothes you wear and stuff, it can pull that into what it renders. Like when it does a new, um, new art creation. So, some of the images I used to train my Laura, I had on this like um, black dress with, uh, it was sheer. It was like a, um, kind of like a slip underneath, a slip dress underneath. And then a sheer, um, like black sheer material on top. So I think that's what's pulling and causing this, this sheer look that I'm getting. So this hair is cute, but this face, it looks like me, but it has me looking a little different. So I like, I think I like image number three the best out of these, or maybe four, three or four. I can't decide. But I like the fantasy background. That's pretty. So where we started versus where we are, we started with these images <laughs> that were very much like pink and blue, like with the hair. Oops, let me bring it over here. Um, the pink and blue hair and in the top bun and all of that. And we use this as inspiration. Even with the seed number, we're getting some really different results. You're welcome, T. Bell. You gonna go back to the replay? Okay, yeah. Oh, I meant to start generating again after I reset the seed. Okay, so let's see how it changes it in terms of what type of dress it'll pull in this time. And it looks like we're getting back to the photorealistic images too and getting away from the the vector animation or the digital art style. AI can be so random. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I like um, Stable Diffusion. Like you can just kind of keep generating images and keep, you know, regenerating until you find something that you like. And once you find a seed that you like, you can kind of deep dive on that. And it's already been an hour. <laughs> wow. I like these. I like this look. I wish it did pull in more of the animation style, but I like this look. 
And it's interesting how it gave me two black dresses, like little black dresses. And then it gave like this sheer number for one of them. And then like a short sleeve, definitely not black. But this um, floral print is, is pretty. So I'm going to run this one more time. And I'm trying to figure out how I can pull in more of the um, of the digital art to keep it from looking photorealistic because we added photo to the negative prompt. We added photorealistic. So I'm not sure why it's still doing photorealistic generation, but that's the thing with AI. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, add watercolor to style. Do you think I should remove any of the others or just add watercolor? So these are cool. I like those. And so for anybody that is interested, I'm getting ready to wrap up in just a minute. Um, but for anybody that is interested in um, learning to use Stable Diffusion, if this is new to you and um, you want to learn how to create images in your own likeness, um, like I'm doing here with the um, with the fine tune machine learning model, I have a class coming up um, next Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time where I'm going to be showing you guys how to do... Um, how to fine tune your own model, how to bring that over into Stable Diffusion and how to start generating images. So if you are interested in learning more about that, I can drop the link down in the chat. And let me see. Ooh, it put like a castle or something in the background. I like these. It looks very like, um, like a, a Kind of like Cinderella or something like that. Thanks, Tiffany. You want to take it again? Um, inbox me, Michelle. I have a um a coupon code for people that want to take the class again. So inbox me. Um, I like these. And it's like, it's not quite photorealistic. It's pulling in like that digital illustration. I'm gonna play around with the seed. Let me see, what is this seed? I'm trying to see which one do I like the best. I kind of like, I like this pose. I'm gonna go with this one because I like this pose. And I think I wanna change it to a gown so I can get it to look princessy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get up out of here. Mm, let me see, this seed. This seed and then the variation seed. I wonder if I need the variation seed. Let's try it without the variation seed first. And I want to change white angle shot cotton candy, wearing a little black dress. I think I want to say ball gown. Ball gown um, with a wand in her hand with a 
not a wand, but what a, what are the what is the name of that thing that the um the queen holds? Is it a it's not a chalice. That's not the right thing. Um, it's a queen's wand. Is that what it's called? I don't want a tarot card. Apparently a queen wand, a queen's wand means tarot card. It's not chalice. What is the thing that the queen holds? Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's got like, um, maybe I should look up queen. Is it called a staff? It's not a staff. I can't remember. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's like when a queen holds like a, it's like a, I think it's made of gold and it has like a crown or something on it. And it's like on a long stick. I don't know what it's called. I guess I can't put that in the image cause I can't think of what it's called. I'll see what a wand, a scepter. It could be. Let me, um. Yes, that's exactly it, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's see what we get now. <laughs> we going down a rabbit hole. It looks like number two is trying to do it. Well, yeah. Do they have her holding a ball of cotton candy? That is funny. <laughs> I kind of like this. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I like it. So... I think of the two, I like this one. I will play around with this image because I like the dress and she has the scepter in her hand. So I think I will play around with this particular like variation seed and generate some more images because this is cute. And it's like a little castle in the background. I like this aesthetic. I also like this dress. So I'm gonna play around with that some more. I gotta go grab this seed though. Let's see. I wonder, can I, um, yeah, I like that, that style. So I'm going to try to send this text to image. I wonder if it's going to go because it didn't go last time. So I got to double check the seed. Um, So I want this seed and then I want the variation seed too. 
Oh, so it did bring it over that time. So it brought over the seed. Let me just make sure it got the variation seed. 21204. Yep. So I am going to do, I'm going to turn down the variation strength, I think, to one. And spin these again. See what we get. Thank you. So in terms of these scepters, oh, I wonder, is it called a pageant wand? Or maybe I should add the um, word royal scepter to it as well. So of these four, I like number one the best. Try Royal, okay. And I probably can remove Valentine's Day from the prompt because that's not really relevant. Um. And I wonder, I think the hair will look more elegant if it was in an updo. So Royal Scup, um, Scepter in her hand. Um, I'm going to add Jeweled as well. Royal Jeweled Scepter in her hand. Elegant updo. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. Um, what happened? <laughs> it just stopped. I've never seen it do that before. Okay, now it's playing. <laughs> Cause what did it do? Oh no. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Elegant updo. Elegant bun. Oh, I don't know what's happening. It's getting away from the prompt. I'm trying to think, why is it doing that? We're in a ball gown with Royal Jewel Scepter in her hand. Maybe let me remove Jewel. And I'm 
going to turn up the CFG scale. Let's see. This is so funny. I plan to be on here for like 30 minutes and it's already been an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Going down a rabbit hole. And I thought I was doing the um, comparisons of the samplers. So these are not really pulling the hairstyle that I want. Eh. Exactly. This is exactly how it goes sometimes. So let's go back and look at the various images. So we were doing good. Well, I guess these did kind of look photorealistic. Um, but they had a more of a... Um, I still feel like it had more of like a, a digital art style, but somehow it got away from it and it started bringing in more photorealistic here. And my face is not right. Ay, ay, ay. Um, this is cute though. I like this pose. <laughs> I think going back to I like this image. I like the hair, the style of the hair in this image. If I had to pick some favorites. I'm not a fan. This hair is cool. I think I would change up the um I would change it up a little bit though. And the clothes, I don't like this robe. But I do like the background of, um, it looks like a, I guess a nebula or something like that too. In the background, I like that look. Um, what else do I like? This hair is cute. And I like this hair. I need to fix those teeth. Um, and when you have images like this in Stable Diffusion, you can take those into in painting and make changes. And I'll, um, I can show you guys how to do that on a different day. That's a little bit more of an advanced technique, but you can edit your images right in Stable Diffusion. So that's another reason why I like this tool. And it has more flexibility. In my opinion, you have more control over the changes that you make than you do in, um, in Mid Journey. Cause you can also do in painting in mid journey and I forget, I haven't played around with, um, playground AI. So playground AI is built on, um, on top of stability AI's API as well, which is basically the same as stable diffusion. But the reason why I prefer the stable diffusion interface over, um, playground AI is I can bring in my own model and you can't bring your own model to playground. So you can either bring your own model here or um, bring like a lower file to say to, um, to stable diffusion automatic 1111. And you can't do that in playground AI to my knowledge. So that's why I prefer this tool over playground, but in playground, you can also do in painting and out painting and stuff like that. So it does have some variety as long as you don't need to bring in a model. Um, so I think that's about it for today, y'all. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, I said I was going to drop the link to, um, to the upcoming class I have. So let me grab that. Do, 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 do. It's called Create Your Digital Twin. And, um, there is the link. And just to give you a little bit of background about the class, um, so that's the link to register is um, bit.ly CYDT register. So with the class, you do there, it's like a hybrid model. It's, um, you're welcome. 
thanks for coming, Michelle. So, um, thank you to everybody that came today. I appreciate you hanging out with me and offering your suggestions and chatting with me while I'm in my design session. But, um, for the Create Your Digital Twin uh, workshop, it's a hybrid model. So there are some pre-recorded modules that you'll work through in terms of getting your different accounts set up and using um, like resizing the images that you're gonna be using to um, fine tune the model. And then you fine tune your model. And then when you come to the design session, that's the, the live time that we'll spend together. It's about um, anywhere from two to two and around two and a half hours we'll spend together just creating images with your model inside stable diffusion so if you're interested in learning how to use this tool um i would love to have you in class or in the workshop and the next one is happening on um next sunday from 3 to 5 p.m and then there's going to be one um on tuesday evening uh february 27th at um from 7 to 9 so um would love to have you in class if you have any questions um you can post them uh in the comment section below the video or you can reach out to me via um the website you can email me um and i would love to see you in class and you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon um enjoy the usher concert i will be tuned in and i will see you guys next time bye